Well, right, guys, finally got out with the Sigma 100 to 400. Just chucked it down with rain. So um, it doesn't mind a bit of rain. So that's a good little test. And I think I've actually got some birds in flight, which is a good result. So just seagulls, but they fly around quite quickly and uh, utilizing different shutter speeds and autofocus modes and the uh, different stabilization. I think I've um, kind of worked out. It's actually a pretty good lens, especially for the money. Um, yeah, and the light's not all that amazing, but you know, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, off home now to uh, have a quick look at the uh, shots I've managed to capture and see what they're like. Build quality wise, I'm actually quite impressed with it. Um, nice chunky grips to rotate the focusing ring and the zoom. The buttons themselves are nice and sort of clicky and easy to get. You've actually got a, a programmable button there as well. Lens hood, not too big. And do you know what? It's really light. So, you know, we're going from the 200 to 600. Yes, I've got 200 millimeters less zoom, but it's much lighter, much more portable, fits in the bag with ease. And for the money, like I say, 900 quid, I think this could be a really good um, keep. So utilize it today for a little bit of portraiture as well. And uh, obviously out and about shooting a bit of uh, different things really. So as you can see here, nice and sharp, detailed shot. That's actually at 100 millimeters cropped in. So as you can see there, um, plenty of detail of the rocks and everything. Quite lucky on the weather really. We had a, a patch of blue sky come through and moody clouds and everything. As you can see, a nice detail on the weave of the hoodie there and the writing, nice and sharp. Um, and the bokeh in the background of seeing everything's out of focus nicely works well. Um, around about a mile or so down the road, you've got the Bell Toot Lighthouse. And I'm right at the top there, zoomed in. The ferry in the background heading to France. Um, but like I say, plenty of detail. Um, and here, the lighthouse, um, zoomed in at 400. And these are, that's cropped in slightly just so you can kind of get the feel for the detail that's there. Um, real benefit of having the 60 megapixels you've got a croppability factor so you know if you want to you can crop in uh, to 600 or thereabouts anyway um obviously you haven't got the um the depth difference you would have um of a real 600 millimeters at f6.3 but to be honest it kind of helps you in a little way you start to get a bit more depth it's a bit like the rx10 mark 4 having a smaller sensor even though you've got an f4 lens at 600 um you actually get a little bit more in focus so sometimes it actually end up with more pleasing shots than you would be um if you had a full frame f4 600 so yeah really really pleased with the shots actually the more i'm using it the more i'm liking it and the price range is really really good um it got absolutely soaked today in the rain no troubles whatsoever you can see some weather sealing um in the in the zoom part and also the back of the, the lens where it goes to the body of the camera um, as well, as you can see here, locking onto the seagull panning past probably about 40 miles an hour. Um, and that actually, the other shot is his wing is actually below the stone line, which you'll see in a second. But pretty impressive. The light was rubbish. Um, I was shooting at ISO 800 for these shots because um, the, the sun was behind the clouds, it was quite a dull day. So, um, this shot here is kind of annoying, really, because you've got a fishing rod right behind you, behind the seagull. Sorry. You can see that black line going up. I didn't edit it because I just thought I would keep the shots minimal processing as possible. I mean, there's a couple of black and white ones, but um, other than that, I haven't really touched them. Apart from a couple of little processing adjustments like brightness or clarity or whatever. Um, but yeah, relatively pleased with how it's performing. I mean, again, um, seagulls in flight I mean they're quite a fast bird I know they're quite big but even at a distance a couple of hundred meters away it's still picking out them out to sea and it's still giving us sort of pretty sharp shots even though they're quite a long way away um, here's a headshot of a uh, one of the seagulls he was really quite tame he just sat there um, but as you can see here and I also focus straight on him which is absolutely fine which really helps because they've got quite long beaks so if he's looking at you you can get on the eye it's obviously very helpful uh, here's one of the seagulls uh, right out to um, out to sea on the uh, sea wall there. Um, cropped in a little bit so you can see the detail. The sky was really cool because it brought out the um, horizon really, really strongly, which is quite cool. Another bird here flying past. Like I say, I took, I don't know, probably 150 shots. 
and pretty much all of them are okay. There's a few there that aren't. Um, I would say maybe 10% miss. Um, very, very impressed, really. Um, even shooting up, I was actually shooting at a way, way, way too fast to shot speed. It was like one five thousandth of a second or something. You can actually kind of see a bit of uh, vignetting there. It's a shame. But uh, other than that, really, really cool. And that's the horizon there, really shadowy and rainy out, out to sea on the horizon there. But then you've got this fisherman here, so I thought it was quite, quite a nice almost silhouette of how bright the sea was from the sun and everything. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's um, just a quick kind of look at the first use or real use of that lens. And um, yeah, I mean, for £900 compared to the £1,700 of the 200 or 600 kind of weighing towards this one more than I did the 200-600. 200-600 is a brilliant lens, but on my camera it was something up with it. Um, it either just didn't like my camera. Um, lots of people around the world have um, had absolutely brilliant results from this lens and, and camera combo, um, but unfortunately um, it's one of those things where um, you know, sometimes there is a bit of quality control issues, I suppose. I don't really know. Um, unfortunately, it's way out of my hands, but I've sent that lens back anyway. Got this one instead. And actually, because it's nice and compact as well, it actually fits in your bag um, nicely. And um, yeah, just quite a pleasing lens to use, really. Um, hopefully, I'll get some really, really good shots with it. But uh, it's mine for now, anyway. Um, so yeah. Anyway, goes guys, guys bleh, bleh, can't speak. Um, yeah. So. Please uh, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell if that was any help to you. Um, and uh, please check out my other videos as well. And uh, I shall see you soon. Thank you very much.